Hello viewers, welcome to online class. At first I will introduce myself, then I will discuss a grammatical point. Please uh, listen my class. I am Shikon Bia, a lecturer at Dornabun's College. Now, I will discuss on modifiers. Actually, we have to at first know what is modifier. Modifier means changer, changer of the sentences. Example, he is a dash boy. Here, yeah, if we use root, then he will be a good boy. But if we use bad, then he will be a bad boy. In this example, we can already know or learn that actually good bad is a uh, adjective modifier and it changes the meaning of the sentence or antecedent, etc. Now we will learn how many types of modifiers are. Mainly or basically there are two types of modifier. One, pre modifier. Number two, Post modifier. Pre means before, post means after. Here, before and after. And in this pre and post modifier, uh, there are some another types of modifier actually you find. These are very important for the exam. For this reason, I will discuss or clarify that modifier. Number one, now adjective modifier. Now adjective modifier. What is now adjective modifier? It is a noun but it works as an adjective or seems before noun and adjective qualifies the noun. Here noun qualifies the noun. For this reason, we can say it is actually noun adjective. It is a noun adjective and it is a noun. Now we will go to the next one, number two. Adjective modifier. Adjective modifier, it qualifies the noun. It qualifies the noun. For example, he is a dash boy. If we use good or bad, good bad is adjective and adjective qualif always qualifies the noun. Here, yeah, boy is a noun. So you can say that it is an adjective modifier. But in uh, above, we see he is a College student. Student is a noun, college is also a noun. So we can differentiate this step and this, this word and this word. This word is a city and this word is a noun. So uh, actually we have to know the what is noun adjective and what is adjective, uh, adjective actually. So we will go now number three. Rule. Adverbial modifier. Adverbial modifier. What is adverb? Actually, we have to know it first. Adverb qualifies or modifies the verb and adjective. In one, number one, we have to know uh, that noun and what is noun adjective. Number two, we have already known what is adjective. But here, adverb. Adverb qualifies or modifies the verb and adjective. And adjective. So, I uh, should clarify it. For example, she works slowly. Here, what's the verb? And slowly is a 
adverb. Slowly is an adverb. Here adverb qualifies the verb actually. And if you another, uh, if you see another example, he eat dash goat. Here goat is an adverb. But if you use adverb very so etc. Then in this example we see that very that means adverb qualifies the adjective. So in this sentence adverb qualifies the verb and another sentence. So in this sentence the yeah, adverb qualifies the adjective actually. So this um, this sentence uh, and first verify that this well, we can say that it has another name in ten C file. In ten C file. So we have finished already three rules. Now uh, we should go rule four. Number four. Infinitive. Infinitive modifier. Actually, infinitive modifier two plus base form of verb. Two plus base form of verb. So uh, we will learn in this example. Actually, what is infinitive modifier? He went to. College. He went to college to meet with his principal. Here we see two. Here we also see two. But there are some difference. Uh, two plus now. College is a noun. So we can say it is a uh, it uses as a as a preposition. But here is fine or see two plus base form of verb meet. So we can say it is an infinitive. Two. Number five. Singular is singular. So we should use this 
or that. But if we find dash backs are my, then we will, we should use this or those. So these four things actually demonstrate modified. So we have already finished number six row. Now we will go to number seven. Number seven. Policy. Policy modifier. It follows the answer actually. Here, if we know about policy modifier, then we have to know at first the policy pronoun actually. The third form of the pronoun. Number one, suppose uh, subject form, in pronoun you get actually. Subject form, object form, then policy form, form, and object of policy. Right now, for pronoun I, object me, policy form, my, and object of policy, my. So, this uh, are actually policy. Here if we uh, take number, pronoun he, he, him, his, his, you, you, you. Use. So I said, I said that. this actually policy pronoun and this policy pronoun is, uh, has another name policy modifier. Uh, but I will uh, clarify with this example. I love my country. Here, my is a positive modifier. Uh, if we use she, she loves her country. So, her is also positive modifier. It is very easy actually. Just we have to know the subject form or pronoun. Then we will uh, use the positive form of the pronoun. This Policy form of pronouns is a policy modified. Now we will get row A. Italian. What is Italian modified? Yes. We will know article A and D, and we will use sometimes any, etc. Suppose he is farmer. Is a farmer? Here A is an article, but A is also a determinant. So it is also very easy. Number nine, relative modifier. Relative modifier. What is relative modifier? It relates the two several sentences. For example, the relative modifier O, which, O, etc. Who uses for a person and uh, which that uses for things? For example, Puri is a boy who is honest. Here, who uses for Puri or boy? So, in the person or living. Things. 
But if we use uh, this, this is a book, then we will use which, which is so important. Here we use what or correct or relax with a box. Box is things and boy the person. So both with things that means graduate solutions, uh, it has another name, very modified. And we'll go to rule number 10. Participle modifier. Party simple modifier. Actually, there are three types of participle modifiers. One, present participle, number two, past participle, and number three, perfect participle. So, one, present participle. Present participle modifier. It, um, it is normally hard plus ing. And it uh, is used for action of the verb. For example, he saw a bird. He saw a bird fly in the sky. Here, flying is a present participle verb. And it is fly plus ing. Fly is a verb, base word, and we use ing with this base verb. Number two, past participle. Past participle modifier. What is past participle modifier? Verb plus verb. Uh, it is a third form of the verb. We all know actually. It is the third form of the verb. Verb three. And uh, number three, perfect participle modifier. Helping class verb three. Here, if we use class modifier, then we have to use flying few flops. You have to use flop. He saw a bird flaw in the sky. And if we use perfect participle modifier, then we have to use having flaw in the sky. He saw a bird flying in the sky, flaw in the sky, having flaw in the sky. So, uh, today I will discuss uh, 10 rules about modifiers. I will try to clarify this topic, this grammatical topic. So I will uh, come the next step, another uh, topic I will discuss then. But now I will uh, speak about you. Save, at first we have to save from COVID-19, wash your hands more and more and wear must, must and you have to, if you, uh, and uh, you have to save from this virus and if you comment about this, then you must give you a uh, rule number or ID number. Then the authority of the police will uh, collect your rule number. Thank you. Thank you once again. See you.